the national eligibility come entrance test for medical admissions have been opposed by tamil nadu since its introduction a total of 21 students have committed suicide fearing the outcome of the exams the tamil nadu assembly passed a resolution seeking exemption for the students from neet which is still pending with the governor the student federation of india picketed the rajbhavan in chennai demanding the governor to forward the bill for president's nod without any delay how will the student who have studied in the state board for the past 12 years and getting the question paper in the cbsc board uh, how will they be able to answer uh, the questions within the 40 or 50 seconds they have to mug up the question they have to mug up the key points uh. so the exam which is uh, enhancing the mug up which is enhancing uh, I mean which is uh, destroying the understanding the capacity of understanding and all how it will uh, give the best doctors to the nation as usual uh, if we are uh, failing in some exam if we are uh, not getting the question paper uh, if we have scored low in the exam now we will get uh, some stress or depression uh, because of that exam right so how will these people who have studied in the state board and seeing the new pattern out of the blue and how will they react how will they handle that such pressures they are uh, in 17 or 18 age they are in teen like late teens so how will they handle these things they are getting into depression especially this exam is uh, uh, making the students a uh, lot more stressful depressed and uh, this is causing uh, suicidal attempts and suicidal rates uh, in the uh, Tamil Nadu. Nearly from 2017 to 2021, nearly 23 children were committed suicide. We are not even able to think what have they uh, thought when they committed suicide. What, have, what are they thinking when they thought about this? Their ambition, their dream is to become a doctor. This exam is indirectly implementing that whoever has money, whoever has a higher social status can only access the seat of doctor. So what about the children who are living in the village? The governor is a Hindutva person, he is a puppet of BJP. And so um, we are. Uh, I, I can understand that he won't even think about the poor children the uh, backward class children whoever is uh, apart from their community and their uh, social status but we can't let this happen we are getting so irritated angry because of this uh, action because we are losing each child every day every after the result of need and uh, before the need also they are dying through anxiety and depression fear and all so we can't let this happen this innate the perfect exclusion policy they just want to destroy the future of the marginalized student. Students who have a future, who have a dream to be a doctor or have a good, to make a good career, their future is completely shattered through this, through this education spell policy of the same BJP government. And now, when this bill is passed in the Tamil Nadu Vidhan Sabha, now this, government, this governor is not going to go through. They are, they are trying to, he is uh, actually acting as a puppet of BJP and RSS government and the corporate nexus. And as you see, this corporate nexus, they, they have completely, they, they commercialize this whole education sector. This huge booming, boom of, huge boom of this uh, coaching centers and this private centers, it actually, it will favor, and this private institution, uh, medical institution, it will only favor those students who are coming from the affluent background, who are coming from the rich family, not the students who are coming from the marginalized section. And we have already observed in Tamil Nadu, 21 students compelled to suicide. And we can't wait for another suicide. And that is why we are here. That is why we are protesting. And that is why we are here. We are going to the governor's house also. Students unity long live. Students unity long live. Students unity long live. Students unity long live. Students unity long live.